Yeah, bitch! El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie is officially out, and both critics and fans have a lot to say about it. So let's take a spoiler-heavy, and I mean spoiler-heavy, look at the film and what people are saying about it right now on The Catch Up. El Camino is certified fresh at 94% on the tomato meter, with an audience score of 84% at the time of this recording. And while many loved it, six years after Jesse Pinkman drove off into the New Mexico night in an El Camino, at the end of Breaking Bad, some are wondering if writer-director Vince Gilligan's new send-off for Jesse was really necessary. I mean, is filet mignon necessary? No, but it's amazing! She's trying to stop me. Bitch. The film, which is streaming on Netflix and doing a limited run in theaters, picked up right where Breaking Bad left off, with Jesse trying to work his way out of New Mexico and off to a new life in Alaska, because you know it's the last frontier, without getting nabbed by the authorities in the process. The New York Post's Michael Starr said Breaking Bad fans won't be disappointed if they're feeling sentimental and nostalgic for the good old bad days. And that's partly because Jesse's journey in El Camino included cameos from major Breaking Bad characters, like Mike Ehrmantraut, played by Jonathan Banks, and Todd Alquis, played by Jesse Plemons, who we found out can belt out a ballad like no other. We also saw Jane, old Joe from the junkyard, and a pivotal role from Ed, played by Robert Forster, who sadly passed away on the day the film came out. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't do that. I'm open for business. And then, of course, there's that epic flashback scene with Jesse and Walter eating in a diner. It had one user literally dancing on Twitter. I mean, watching Walt and Jesse walk out of that hotel room was as close to Breaking Bad goodness as it gets. And the other cameos that fans seem most excited about were from Skinny Pete and Badger, played by Charles Baker and Matthew Lee Jones, with tweets like, let's all give a special shout out to Skinny Pete and Badger for being friendship goals. And, quote, my last expectation was to have Skinny Pete deliver the best line of the movie. And he gave Jesse his beanie, you guys. And if you didn't catch this, there was also a cameo connecting El Camino to Gilligan's other popular title in the Breaking Bad universe, Better Call Saul. The pin protector known as Clarence in El Camino previously appeared in two episodes of the Emmy-nominated series as a character called Man Mountain, both played by David Maddy. I know, I know, this one's a pretty deep cut, but the more you know. You want one? By the way, you should definitely check out our new show, Couch Tomatoes, which is out tomorrow. We look at all things streaming, and we took a deeper dive into El Camino this week. It is awesome. And of course, we didn't talk about El Camino without talking about the man of the hour, Vince Gilligan, who did what he does best. The Hollywood Reporter's Daniel Feinberg said Gilligan remains a precise and complicated visual stylist. And Aaron Paul's performance is turning some heads as well. Times' Judy Berman said Paul earned three Emmys for his supporting role in Breaking Bad, and in El Camino, he delivers a mesmerizing lead performance that proves he deserves a spot on Hollywood's A-list and a pepperoni pizza. But with all of those showering El Camino with praise are those who said the movie just feels like a two-hour-long episode of Breaking Bad that didn't really seem necessary. Deadline's Dominic Patton said El Camino mainly just fills space and likely time, something Breaking Bad never did. And some viewers on Twitter weren't blown away either, with one person saying it didn't need to be made and was two hours of flashbacks and fan service, the writers were very safe. That said, it was fine and it didn't besmirch the legacy of the original show. Two points to you, sir, for using this merch in a sentence. Yeah, bitch! Now it's time for us to read your words now. Did you love El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie? Why or why not? Let us know all your thoughts and feelings in the comment section. And for more on El Camino, head on over to RottenTomatoes.com. Also, we have some very exciting news. Our first book, Rotten Movies We Love, is out right now. It celebrates 101 movies on the green end of the spectrum that you guys should probably check out. And if you like this episode and you want to see more, subscribe and click that bell icon. As always, thanks for watching The Catch-Up. I'm Naz Perez, and I'll see you guys next time.